me again. So finally, I already arrived in the UK. Um, actually, I just arrived yesterday and today technically is my first day in the UK. So far so good. The weather is so nice. The winter is just, I mean the summer is coming so you know it's not too cold in here. Yesterday it was just 8 degrees Celsius. Today it's 9 degrees Celsius. It's, it's raining. Well, it's not really raining but it's just drizzling. And you know that's the reason why I'm wearing sleeveless right now. I can wear sleeveless. Um, I thought I wouldn't be able to do so but yeah, um, the weather is pretty comfortable. I am not even using the heater in my room. So yeah, it's a very nice day to do a vlog. So I finally decided to, well, I finally had some time to rest, although um, I wasn't able to get like eight hours straight sleep. Um, I think it's because my body is still adjusting from the time, the weather, and all those stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna unpack my things with you. I'm gonna show you what are the things I brought in the UK. What else? I'm gonna show you some tips on how to properly put in the, the things in your luggages. And I'll be sharing the prices as well for each of the, the things that I brought here in the UK. So let's start. All right, so first thing, I actually brought coats with me. I got here one, there's another one I believe, there's actually two coats that I put in my luggage and then there's another one in there, the black one, that's the one I used on my way here in the UK. So three, a total of three coats. I've been watching some vlogs as well and reading some posts that you don't really need to bring a lot of coats because the the coats in here are like very cheap so you know two or three would be good maximum of three so there um, by the way i used this receivable bags which i bought from shopee so let me show you how it's done this is very effective you know if you want to put in your things properly in the luggages and to save some space as well so of course this is like just this is a block so you have to release the air so as you can see it's a bit bulky it's a bit bulky because this is a coat not really a coat but i don't know what you call it but anyway you just have to seal it so once it's sealed you have to open this one And then the resealable bag comes with this one. This is this is a pump, okay? So you're going to fit it in here. We're gonna suck out the air. After doing so, you're gonna put back the cap in there. And there you have it. It's not too bulky like before, right? So let me show you how bulky it is once I remove it from the plastic. Nice, right? <laughs> So it really saves some space in your luggage, so I find it really useful. And this is not really expensive, you know. I'm gonna show you which shop did I order it from and what is the specific name of this equipment or thing that you can use, you know. I brought a heat tech with me, if you're familiar with that. This is from Uniqlo. They said that heat techs there would really warm you. It's really effective for winter. So I do brought two of these. And uh, just a tip, in the Philippines, the weather is very hot because we have a tropical weather in there. When I went to the airport, I was wearing um, leggings and sleeveless, just like this, sleeveless top. And uh, when I finally reached the UK, that's the time that I started wearing my coat. Summer is about to come in here, it's not too cold, but if in case that you're going to arrive in the UK during winter, then it might help if you're going to put in a heat tech or long sleeves additional garment in your hand carry so you can put it on you plus the coat 
right? Nice tip. There. What else did I bring with me? I brought some top that I can use if I need to go outside. Well, technically, we are on quarantine when we arrived in here for 10 days, so we have to isolate ourselves and we wouldn't be able to go to the hospital. But just in case that we need to attend trainings or seminars after the quarantine, then we have to, I believe, wear something casual. I brought some black socks because in the NHS, I believe they will not allow you to wear any other color of socks. But just in case, I also brought mini socks in here with different colors but i mainly chose black colors you know just to make sure if these are not allowed i can wear this anyway inside the house if it's too cold this one is from sm department store okay? and that's for three pairs two pairs for 100 pesos i think so aside from clothes i also bought sports bra with me i'm actually a gym addict so I really like working out and I figured that during my quarantine I wouldn't I would have a lot of time for myself to do that. I also brought this for winter. It's like a pair of jogging pants and hoodie. So like this one I'm wearing a pants, jogging pants. Very comfy. It's cotton and this is the pair. Another thing that I brought with me is, of course, bonnets. Of course, guys, I'm really prepared for the cold season in here. So I brought some scarves as well. I think I only brought three, three or four scarves with me. Another thing that you might want to consider bringing would be pillowcases. I bought two pillowcases. Again, I got this from Shopee very cheap so um don't really expect good quality in there but i think this is doable because it's cheap it's not too thick but i don't really need thick pillowcases you know i'm just gonna lay on it anyway so yeah another thing is eco bags so there's one that's not too big another one is this so you can actually use this when you shop in here because they said that you have to pay for everything. So if you want to use plastics or whatever, then you'll have to pay for it. I did bring mittens or gloves with me, just one pair. I actually bought two pairs, but my daughter took the other pair because she wanted to come with me in the UK. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring her here right now. But yeah, I just bought one pair, you know, just in case. For girls, it's, this is very, very important. You should be bringing four. So this one, again, uh, this one I got it from Lazada. And I'm going to put in the price in here. Be very careful because there are a lot of fake blowers in there. So for me, so far, it, it, it's working well. So I think I got the original one. Another tip when you're packing your luggages, so you can save space and put something to protect it. You can put your bonnet like that in here, like this, or you can wrap it around your bonnet, just like that, because that's what I did. Of course, iron for, for girls. If you like ironing your hair or you want to curl it, then you can bring this as well. So the next thing that you need to bring, which I believe is going to be very useful, is umbrella. I got this from SM Department Store. I'm pretty sure that you're very familiar with the brand. This is Fibrella. It's, it's a bit expensive, yes, but it's going to be useful anyway. So let me show you. You just have to press on it. Alright, so you have to expect that most of the time you're going to be bringing in your own food in the hospital, especially when you work for a whole 12 hours. So I brought lunch, a lunch box, this one. And of course, I, I put some stuff inside just to save space. I also brought this one. This is from Miniso. If you're gonna look inside, there's a spoon and fork. This is just a mini spoon and fork, but you know, it can definitely fit in your bag. And you'll be needing a water jog as well. I just bought a small one. This is only 420 ml. So everything in Japan Home Center, it doesn't have any tag price. 
will only cost you 88 pesos. So it's really pretty cheap. I brought with me my tumbler. So this one is from Starbucks. It's a gift, but you can put in here your coffee if you need to go and do your work. Other stuff that I brought is coffee. This is my favorite one. This is an owl coffee, like a regular three in one, but I also have the two in one. And majority of the things that I got is actually from Shopee because it's very easy to order from there. So I'm going to show you the link on where you can order this stuff. Guys, this is very, very important. So this is my medicine box. It contains the OTC or over-the-counter medications that you can bring in the UK. Antipyretic meds for pain. Um, like if you got this mineria. I also got silver sulfadiazin just in case I got some burns, just like small burns. Um, Vicks, of course. Oh, I also bought diphenhydramine just in case I couldn't sleep because you know that happens when you go abroad sometimes you think about a lot um, you're having a problem with your body clock or you're stressed out and you just want to sleep so I believe this might be helpful I bought 25 milligram and 50 milligram just in case 25 milligram actually works for me but not too much so if in case I need to go on a deep sleep then I can take the 50 milligram however just a reminder you shouldn't be dependent on it like you should only take this if necessary. Like, um, this is gonna be your last resort. I brought paracetamol with me, something for flu, a phenamic acid, a meprazole, just in case, you know, you get gastritis or something. And uh, loperamide or imodium. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And this medicine tray, actually, I also got it from Japan Home Center. If I'm not mistaken, this is only just 88 pesos. Actually, a big box. Not really big, but I mean, it's a one full box. I just put in the divider and it comes with the box. So it's up to you if you want to do it this way or like this, you know. Ziploc, guys. You know, this is actually where I pack some of my things, like especially the toiletries or um lotion you know in your luggage they're just gonna throw it away so you don't want it spilled all over your things so you want to put it in your ziploc very helpful napkins for girls in the uk it's a requirement for you to quarantine for 10 days like 10 straight days you're not allowed to go out you can order the problem is most of the transactions here are cashless so it means you have to use your card. Now, if you're new in the UK, you have to set up your bank account first. They will deliver your card for like within seven to 10 days, I believe, one to two weeks, maximum of two weeks. So what are you gonna use to order things, right? So you have to bring your own napkin just in case. I also brought with me um, tampons, again, to save space. Razor, girls, guys. Again, because you can't just because you can't go out. I got myself um, masks, so I chose black and uh, the regular one. This is a total of 100 pieces, so you definitely would be needing that. For my toiletries, I actually bought the one in sachet. I didn't buy the one in the bottle, again, to save space. Also brought with me a fabric conditioner. So, of course, since you'll be stuck at home for 10 days, then you would have to wash your clothes. However, the soap, I didn't bring that because it's in a powder form. I don't want to have any problems in the immigration, and that was the advice as well of the agency. But luckily, the landlord here gave us some, so that's what we're going to use. But with me, a couple of perfumes. Just an advice, these stuff should be in your check-in luggage because they're not going to allow you to carry liquids more than 100 ml i believe in your hand carry so it should be in the luggage since i was expecting that i'll be doing the oski then i need to have some envelopes to put in my documents so just to organize it or make it organized i brought two um, envelopes with me with plastic and for some reason i also brought at least three folders you know because I might be needing to organize my bills, you know, utility bills, contract in the flat, contract in my work, stuff like that. So I have so many paperworks 
that I need to organize. Wipes. We're going to be traveling into England for a long time. Like for us, it took almost 24 hours before we reached in the UK because we had to lay over in Turkey. But yeah, so you'll be needing this definitely, you know, to wipe everything like your face or something because you're going to feel sticky. A part of your toiletries, of course, is cotton buds. Again, for the sake of being isolated for 10 days, then I brought this with me. Laundry net. Got it from Japan Home Center. It costs 138 pesos only. So this one is going to be useful for the washing machine here is different from the machine that we're using in the Philippines. So, you know, just to, to damage it, then you can put your clothes inside the net and then put the net inside the machine. I haven't actually tried this. It's going to be my first time to use this. So we'll find out if it's going to work well. Another and very important thing to bring is your notebooks. So I got one regular size. This is $48.75 in supermarket. Yeah, you're gonna find one in there. And this one is from Japan Home Center. I know you can use this pocket notebook while you're on duty, you know, since we're gonna be new in the setting then we have to write notes right so yeah i really think this is going to be useful i actually put it in a ziploc need my planner as well from starbucks and this one yeah so this is a calendar type of planner i'm that type of person is really organized with schedule i want to plan things ahead if i need to cancel it you know i just need to put a note in there things like that. So we are definitely going to be leaving a lot of pens. <laughs> so I got this as well from Shopee. Lots of highlighters. Stabula Boss. Because again, we're going to be reviewing for Oski. So we have to make sure that you have Stabula Boss for those people who are, you know, obsessive compulsive. Another very important thing would be the fog watch. I bought three fog watch because I am scared that, you know, one might be faulty. What if the battery gets low, then I could just easily get another one from my stock because I believe fog watch here in the UK is expensive. We don't want to spend a lot of money right now. Calculator from Shopee. It's just a mini calculator that, you know, I can use during my duty there. So it's really cute, right? It's breaking time. <laughs> I bought this battery, which is exclusive for fog watch. I think you can get this lithium lithium battery from um, hardware stores. So for those people who doesn't know what a fog watch is, let me just explain this. Because in the, in the UK, you're not allowed to wear anything from the wrist above, right? Because it's going to contaminate things. So they do prefer you to wear a watch in here. So it's like this. You're going to wear it. There's a pin at the back. There. So you're going to wear it like this. Could be as much as I, as far as I know, it should be here on the chest. You know, you can easily just look that way. So you can check the time. I brought some accessories for girls. You know, just in case we have some parties in here. <laughs> of course, makeup. Although the makeups for girls, I would advise you to put it in your hand, Gary, because if they, you put it in your luggage, it might break. I got pencils and a sharpener, of course. I really want to take down notes, so I prefer using pencils. For some reason, I bought a microphone um, for emergency purposes at work, so this is going to be really useful. Guys, you should also bring alcohol. This one should be in your luggage. Uh, again, as far as I know, alcohol is not really popular here in the UK. What they use is the alcohol gel. They do prefer that. So that's the reason why I got this. But you have to be really careful with your liquids when you put it inside your luggage. So you have to make sure that there's a tape in here or it's covered in plastic or whatever. Maybe a tape would be very useful because, you know, when I bring this, it was actually three fourths full but when I open my luggage it's already here because it's it got spilled just throwing your luggages 
it's actually expected but also you should be bringing your laptop with you if you do have a laptop better because as you know during the pandemic everything is being done online so because the screen is much bigger it's easier to understand the trainings or seminars that you're going to attend to and uh, another important thing are the documents so it should be organized so there's my passport you should also have a checklist of the things that you need to bring in the uk like checklist of the documents that you need to bring in the uk because um you're gonna have to go through the immigration and they're gonna thoroughly check your documents so you have to make sure um i think you know i'll be doing another vlog separately for that on what are the documents that you need to bring so another very important thing that you should be bringing especially in your hand carry are your power banks so you're going to be traveling here for more or less 24 hours and you should have a charger with you there are charging stations in the airport but you would expect that that is always full because a lot of people would want to charge their gadgets and everything i got it from shopee as well it's not too thin but it's not too thick as well um it's not too heavy so it's really portable 20,000 mAh so that's good enough for you to be able to charge at least three or four fulls definitely most important of all is you should bring your money in pounds because you'll be buying some more stuff in here that you didn't think that you can bring or you didn't think that you'll be needing until you arrive in here you can either have it changed in your home country because it's going to be much cheaper compared to the Heathrow Airport, but it's your choice. You should also bring peso for Filipinos. For other nationalities, you should bring your own currency, probably in around 1,000 pesos or less, because at the airport, you might find yourself buying food or drinks because it's, you know, the process in the immigration and all those stuff is sometimes really stressful sometimes it's really stressful so of course guys food is life you have to bring filipino foods or foods that you really like depending on your, your taste of course it's enough for me to you know eat something when i crave canned goods like corned beef or sausage tuna noodles this one it's like an oatmeal so you just have to it's like a milk or something you just have to put it in one glass of hot water and i think this would be enough for my breakfast because i don't really eat breakfast other very very important stuff that you should be bringing with you is your vitamins i am taking miraha these are actually effervescent tablets it's not that cheap but not too expensive as well i believe and of course you, you should invest on your health i do suggest that if you're not that person who drinks vitamins naturally just like me then start drinking now you have to boost your immune system because once you get here the weather is going to be really different and you have to prepare your body for that moving on so some of my stuff i already actually put in somewhere so towel of course you're going to be needing it at least one towel you have to bring in lotion because you have to moisturize yourself moisturizer for the face deodorant as a part of your hygiene i also brought some hangers with me since i can't go out for the whole 10 days the photo frame of your family this is the first main thing that i got out from my luggage and put it right away on my side table you know because they're the ones that's going to inspire you and motivate you to work away from your home um although that's going to be difficult but it's possible so yes you have to bring your chargers as well chargers this one an extension a three-pronged extension so it's not enough that you should be bringing this only because look at this The end of the socket is like this and you can't really put it in the socket in here you have to buy an extra one or you can probably get it in any hardware shops so this is how it looks like when i bought it from ace hardware three pronged like that and an adapter now why would you need an adapter 
the end part of tension that you're gonna be getting is it doesn't fit so you would have to have this um, this is what I got so as you can see this is three pronged this one is vertically done this is horizontal that's how it is in the UK so when I put in here yeah it should already work I would advise that you buy at least two extensions because for me I only got one and you know I'm already having problems charging my devices and everything so you probably can get two extensions and, and then at least two adapters just to make sure if you are using an Apple device you will automatically get this three prong adapter so this is how it looks like in here it's three pronged there's a switch that's turned on but if you're not using it then you can turn it off again this is the end of the extension so if I put it in there it's not really gonna fit because all of this are in vertical position right so the top should be vertical the bottom should be horizontal so that's how it's gonna fit I think this is the last one your shoes so this is the duty shoes that I bought from Nike um, they said that if you're working in the NHS you should be having an all-black shoes I'm not really sure about our NHS or our hospital but just to be safe and sure I got this all black it's a running shoes I also brought with me my old shoe which I use in the airport on the way here well, you should be using comfy shoes on your way here because again it's going to be a long flight that one in here is an echo bag but i use it as my hamper so guys you should be bringing your own hamper if you want but if not then you can you know be recreational and just use that let me just show you also this lamp that i bought from shopee this is a lamp uh slash bluetooth so as you can see there are buttons in there that you can use to play your music there's the port for the USB. Um, this is for the micro SD if you have that. So there's an on and off button in there. This one is actually something that you can use in the bathroom if you want to hang it in there while you're showering or whatever. I've been using as a lamp since I came here in the UK. So this is how you do it. So all you need to do is to tap it. If you want to change the colors, just need to press and hold it and it's going to change I'm gonna tell you how, how much money did I use to buy this and it's not really that expensive but you have to you know take care of it since it's pretty cheap let me show you how the room looks like when I turn off the lights it's pretty nice right it's actually not too dark just enough for me to sleep feel relaxed another thing to consider as well would be this pillow for traveling and i got this from miniso this one you can definitely use on the plane because it's going to make you comfortable when you sleep for a long travel these hooks are definitely a game changer because since you can only bring a limited amount of things with you, then you can, you know, get that. So you can use it to hang your things. Um, mainly I hang in my bag and echo bags and whatever stuff that you can put in there. So definitely useful. So that is all about the things that you should be bringing in the UK. Now this is just a tip from me and it's still your choice what are the things that you wanted to bring in the UK but you know basically you have to bring what you think is necessary since again you only have a limited amount. As for me I only had 30 kilogram limit for my luggage and about 8 kilograms is for my hand carry so that's really not enough for you to bring everything that you want to. I hope that this vlog definitely helped you to think about the ultimate amount of money that you will be definitely spending for this stuff. And I do suggest that you start as early as now if you have a month 
left leave for the UK then start packing now start buying things because you know this is not an easy money and uh, for some people they don't have a big amount of money that they can use to buy all of it so yeah good luck future EKRNs I'll see you soon here